why why is it always that it is Islam that quoted from the Bible and not the Bible that's quoted from the Quran? Hmm. And interesting. Yeah, that's something I always so, like to ask. So when I'm when we quote from the Bible, we normally quote from the Bible when we're speaking to Christians. Yeah, but it's false. Anyway. Uh, sh shall I tell you why? No. Because the Quran is not a book of authority for you. Yes, but if a book is already falsified and claimed to be illegitimate, I wouldn't take guidance from it for myself. Okay, but you won't quote from me either. Sorry? You won't quote from me either because if I was speaking to a group of Muslims or a Muslim audience, I would never quote from the Bible. Okay, but you are quoting from me now. Yes, because we're speaking to the Christians who live here. We are proving a point with hmm. something that very quote could also be false. Yeah. Do we believe the entire Bible is all corrupt, not the Word of God? No. No, that's we not believe. What you say. That's not what you guys let, say. Let me let me finish. Uh -huh. Are there portions of the Bible which are uh, which are still the Word of God? Yes, absolutely. Okay, how can you prove it though? Are there also portions of the Bible which have been uh, are human additions to the Bible or human error? Absolutely, and we can prove that. Now, how do we how do we view the Bible? We take the Quran, we take the Quran. If it's in line with the Quran, we accept it. If it's if it's against what we know in the Quran, i.e., the Trinity and other concepts, we reject this. Okay, this is how we okay, view so it. So, in order to prove something so, is wrong, mm. you need to have the original text. So Islam doesn't have the original text of the Bible. Not necessarily. So how, Not necessarily. You can open it and see. Does it make sense? No, no, no. no I mean, no. if I, I show dealing, you, if, we are dealing with, we are dealing with things if I, here that if are I very show, sensitive. If I open the Bible and I said, okay, for example, do you believe God can make mistakes? Well, God doesn't make mistakes. Yeah. God is. Perfect. And do you believe God is the author of the Bible? Listen. I mean, this is rational. Just simple questions. God inspired man to write the Bible. Sure. Like you claim, God inspired um, the prophet to write the Quran. The prophet Muhammad didn't write the Quran. He, he couldn't read and write. Okay, so he he spoke. Uh, the he angel Gabriel spoke to the prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, and, who wrote and it? he spoke the or words, which else. words, and the companions wrote and memorized the, the Quran. Okay, now, well. the, so these disciples, they were inspired uh -huh. by God. Okay, who? Or, or, or well, can't even the authors of the Bible. See, that's what I mean. I, I prefer that Islam will focus on the Quran and teach it and leave the Bible alone rather than trying to always prove a point when there is no point to prove because the same thing that the, uh, that you all accuse uh, uh, Christianity of is the same thing that Islam is guilty of because we know we have several different sects in Islam who also don't 100% agree on the Quran. We so, all believe in one Quran. All Muslims believe okay. in one Quran, which has a which has 114 chapters. Okay. So Every Muslim, what's you go the, to, what's the difference if you go to, the if you go to any any country, sect? if you go to any country in the world, okay. and you ask them for a Quran, mm -hmm. it will be the same Quran. Are you Catholic or Protestant? I'm not. I'm not Catholic nor Protestant. Uh, non non denomination. I'm non denomination. Right. Yes. So which Bible do you or do you follow then? Because there's so many Bibles. That's that's what I'm that's what I'm saying. There are yeah. also so many Qurans. No, there isn't. It's we have the listen. Shall I tell you the difference? No, no, no. We have the Quran. Listen, in that is a lie. Islam need to stop that. Okay. It is a lie. It's Prove a morning there are day lie. Prove it's, that there are different Qurans. It's a morning day lie. Prove that there are different because Qurans. Because if there are different, the English language is a very broad language. In Arabic, there is no okay. discrepancy. We have the original language. Okay. What language did Jesus speak? Jesus, Jesus spoke different languages. What was his, what was his mother tongue? Okay, so that's the. You see, you're coming again with the false accusation. No, so. I mean, look, you're no, talking no, about minute, the translations. Let's go to let's go to let's go to Arabic. The very Arabic text of the Quran is full of discrepancies. Show me one. Because Listen, let's talk about no no wait a minute wait a minute. You have to pr prove God, it. God, the the book the Quran came hundred percent from down from below, right? So. God cannot make a mistake. Hundred percent. It has to be hundred percent. And I would, I would apply the same rule to the Bible. No, no, no. And no, I want you to hold it to that same standard. Yes, we'll hold it to the same okay. standard. Okay. Okay. So. And let me get my Bible. That means. That means. That means we in the Quran you you have you have authors 
Uh, you have characters or personalities in the Quran that are also mentioned in the Bible, right? So, if one is infallible, which is you claim the Quran is infallible because it came directly from God and the Prophet, he spoke it and other through the angel Gabriel, right? Okay, so that means everything that the Bible mentioned, right, about those personalities, someone like Abraham. Ishmael, wait a minute, sir. Wait. Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Moses, all these people, that means everything the Bible says, which is different from what Islam is saying, is false. So it would be fair for you to just say, listen, when the Bible talks about Abraham, they have it wrong. 100%. When the Bible talks about Ishmael, Lot, he's sleeping with his daughters. Wait a minute. Yeah, there's many f wait, things wait that make minute, you think. Wait a minute. Why? Like, how can the man of God do these things and it's in the Bible? No, see, don't don't go down that route because we can say something similar about the prophet also. This, no, I'm talking. This, these are messengers. I'm coming from the place of neutrality, but what, right? Let me let me give you one thing. Okay. You, you mentioned you said that there are many inconsistencies with uh, the, in the Quran. No, okay? no, no. Wait a minute. I'm talking about personalities here. It, Abraham has two sons. Abraham had Ishmael and Abraham had Isaac. Correct. Okay. According to the Bible narrator, Isaac is the promised son. So because he's the promised son... But Ishmael is also blessed. Ishmael is blessed but he's not the promised son because Abraham had Ishmael with Haggai. And Haggai was not his first wife. Right? It would be the second one. So God said, I'm going to give you a son with your first wife. So because Isaac is the one that comes through the first wife, Isaac is the one that God is honoring because that, that's, that's how his word can be fulfilled. His word can be fulfilled because he promised a child with the first wife. Right? So, What's if, the point you're making, sorry? The point that I'm making here is what the Quran is telling us that it is not the case that Isaac is the chosen son. I, Ishmael is the firstborn. Therefore, Ishmael takes along the heritage. Like you know, like the firstborn, if you if you meant to take over the kingship, you take over the kingship, you pass it on to your son. So the lineage flows from Abraham to the Ishmael and all the way until it eventually arrive at the Prophet Muhammad, right? So that in itself alone will show you the big the, the discrepancies when you talk about error that the, the Quran is, is infallible. Because if the Quran is infallible, right, you are not saying that. You don't you don't deny that Isaac exists. You deny that Isaac was born. But you you, you chose that Isaac you, you don't say Isaac was born as a promise from God. You say God accepts Abraham going and having a child with his with his second wife, Haggai. Meanwhile God told him it would be the first wife. So you accept that. And you call that infallible? How can that be infallible? Why do you because believe, that why? means clearly Abraham let disobeyed me, God. Let me just cut. To, let me just cut it right to the point. No, you don't have to cut to the point. Let me just cut right it's to the point. Because the Bible says from from Isaac, you're talking about Jesus the Muslim, right? From Isaac, Jesus come out of the lineage of Isaac. Let me just cut right straight to the point. So, why do you believe what the Bible says? Because the Bible, according to my research, is much more authentic than the Quran. You really believe based that? Based on personalities. Based on personalities. There is. It's, it's not, I've read the Quran, right? The Quran talks about Jesus, but it's two pages. There's more than that. Okay. There's more than that. Pieces, but pieces and dots. Anyway. But it's two pages. Let's why be fair. do you believe mm -hmm. that the Bible is the, is the word for word inspired word of God? Because it's based on history also. If you tell me who my granddad is, and you tell me who his dad is, wait a minute, and you tell me who is that, who is that, who is that is, I can trace that route and bring it all the way back to me and know what my heritage is. Okay. The Quran doesn't do that with these personalities. Many times the Quran doesn't even mention who their dad were, who their father were. But if you go to the Bible, the Bible have the whole record of who their parents were, where they lived, where they dwelt, and everything. There. Okay, but then, now within it, but you don't have the record, so with it, with it, I have a with problem it. with this. Really, I'll, I really believe that. I'll, 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 I'll explain that to you in a second. Mm -hmm. This book that you believe in, okay, which is inspired from God Himself, inspired from God Himself through authors mm -hmm. who are unne who are only have first names; they don't have surnames. We don't know who these people are okay. in history. Okay, mm -hmm. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. 
We don't know what their surnames are. Who, who these we know where they are. live. We know who associated with them. We know I, where they grew I up. Think, we know the state. The Bible has okay, everything. There. Second thing, mm -hmm. if you look within it, we find contradicting accounts of the same thing. Based on your, based okay, on I'll, your I'll chosen you, text. I'll show you directly. No, no, based on your chosen text. No, no. Text. I mean, these are numerical. I've been to all these discussion before. Okay, let me give you one then, and you explain it for me on your interpretation. It's all chosen. Okay, give it's me selected text. Okay, I'll give you direct. We can do the same thing with the Quran. You can't. We can. Second Kings, chapter okay. eight, verse twenty-six. Okay. Twenty-two years old was Isaiah when he began to reign, and he reigned for, over Jerusalem. Flick forward to Chronicles. That's Forty-two years old. Now tell me. How is 22 the same as 42? And how is this how is this reading it, reading it incorrectly? That's what I mean. It's chosen text because there is no way you're going to go to because university. There's a mistake. There is no way I'm going to go to university. Slow down. There's no way I'm going to go. To, you will never do this with a university book. You will never go to a university. The university book, book is authored by men. No, but they can make mistakes. This is you have to allow me. You have to allow the reader. Tell the reader read the whole book. What the whole book of. Uh, Second Chronic Chronicles and read the whole book of Kings, but you don't do that. You pick two texts. Okay, to read prove the whole read the whole chapter, read the whole okay, book. That's what I mean. And but that's not what you do. And, on you, the and you will find mm -hmm. that there are those inconsistencies are in. You can't you can't reconcile these two. We can pick up the same thing with the Quran. Show me one. Okay. If you show me one uh, like this, listen okay. listen for a second. Mm -hmm. If you show me one, if you show me one clear yeah. contradiction like does, this, does the Quran says if, that Jesus? No no. Show I'll, I'm gonna show you it here. Okay. okay. Clear. Forty two twenty two. Okay. There's no way to reconcile numbers. Okay wait. Okay. Does the Quran say that Jesus performed? Here is a, here is a Quran. Show me one. I don't know your book. I don't know your book. Okay. Does the Quran says that Jesus performed miracles? Yes, absolutely. Like what every prophet of, and messenger. What kind of miracle? Did he well, the miracle that we have that you don't believe in is that he spoke as a baby. He spoke as a baby. What else? Which one? Okay. Uh, he uh, healed the leper. He healed okay. the blind. Brought the dead back to life. Okay. By did he give life by, to anything? By God's permission. Okay. But did and he, he and he and he and he fashioned a bird and blew life into it. Okay. He yes. blew life by into it. By God's permission. There is no other prophet in the Bible nor the Quran that ever blew life into anything except Jesus Christ. But so how if, if, I'm a, does, if I'm a natural study, like I'm I'm querying with you. Neutral, I'm with you, I'm with you. I'm with you. No, you're not quite neutral, but let's 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 put that yeah, to one side. The, the reason why, because you, I feel that this Jesus my, says that no says I of my own will can do. Once again, I of I my don't own will. Record that no, no, this is your belief. No. Everything he does is by the by the will of the Father. But he also is acknowledged in the same Bible. Everything I am Jesus. a Father are one. You don't quote that what? one because he you also say that one is corrupted. He also says, "I and the disciples are one." No, he said. Jesus he also said, says, the "Power I, that you give me, right? I am going to share with them, so that they can be one." You see, my point here is from neutrality or neutral study. It was in 2012 that I almost converted to Islam. You know why I did not convert? Because of the discussion I'm having with you. The reason why, I will go to the mosque, I will sit down there with my friends for two years. I'll be on YouTube from, once I come from, from lectures, I'll be listening to tapes. Um, the final guy that I'll be on was Zakid on uh, YouTube. I don't know if you know Zakid because he quoted the Zaki Bible. Bible. Zaki Knight. And I listened to countless of hours. I spent two years studying this. I came to a conclusion that at the end of the day, everybody in this world have their own ideologies, right? Hindus, atheists, whoever. Okay? I believe in all our discussion with one another, we should be give somebody the opportunity, right, to choose wrong or choose right. Absolutely. And what I came to observe is that when it comes to the Bible, it is almost as though Islam always feel threatened with the existence of the Bible. So the, the new the, the more than taught the more than taught is that the, in order in order for Islam to stand, mm -hmm. the Bible has to be corrupted. If you remove the argument, right, that the Bible is I'm telling you okay. what I study now, sir. Okay, all right, go ahead. If you move the argument, right, that the the same way you'll go to the Hindu book you will not make the argument that the Hindu book is false. You will leave it as it is. You will not make the argument that any other religion book is false. If you did the same thing to the Christian Bible, you will realize that, that there is a problem with the Quran. Why is there a problem with the Quran? That's why I decided no. Islam okay. is not for me. Because I will see a statement now, let's like this. Let's not move on. Let's, uh, I'm going to stick on that point. 
you said there is a problem with the Quran. Number one, we don't need to disprove the Bible to prove the truth. Why would okay, you look, say Jesus is a Muslim? One second. So when you were speaking, I listened to you. Okay, I'm, I'm hearing you. Let's have a respectful yes. dialogue, yes. okay? So you made a point that the we need to disprove the Bible in order to prove why Islam is correct. Yeah. Islam is is correct and has inherent truth within itself without okay. even mentioning the Bible. Okay. You look at the Quran, okay. you look at this book itself and the scientific facts mentioned within the Quran. Mm -hmm. You've probably heard a lot of these when you were researching Zakir Naik, for example. Okay. Okay. You look at, uh, you look at the, uh, the miracles and prophecies mentioned within the Quran, the Prophet Muhammad peace upon him and his life and what he prophesies. These things have nothing to do with Christianity. Okay. Okay. Why do I need to disprove the Bible? Why? Because I'm speaking to a Christian. If I okay. came to when I quoted the Quran, okay. the Quran is not a book of authority for you. I would need to I would need to show you okay, why what you believe. For example, and you said everybody in Shepherd's Bush right now that is a Christian. Of course we live in a Christian country. The majority of people are Christian, no doubt. Well, yeah. yeah. The majority of people in the UK, would the you agree are Christian? Well, that's what they say, but you know they are or not atheists practicing. in a lot of cases. Unfortunately, so, yeah. That's what I mean. So yeah. you will not claim that it's a Christian country. Uh, so I mean, base, they, they have churches. We, we have we have holidays holidays for Christmas, and I mean that's a pagan festival. But anyway, but that's what I mean. You see, so, so what is happening? If if I so know somebody don't said, know their Bible, I can tell them Jesus is a Muslim, and they will believe me. I'll easier. explain this in a second. Okay, carry on. And you said in terms of the concepts within it, and 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 Christianity made sense to you, like the core fundamental concept of who God is, is really something which I can still my mind does not allow me to accept number one who the concept of who God is in Christianity and the concept of just salvation okay, okay. number one do you believe in the Trinity Thank you. Well, God you, the Father God you, the Son God the Holy Spirit the, if you read the Bible the same way you read a university book in order to graduate you'll come to the conclusion that the Bible itself from books to books to books from Genesis all the way to the end there are several different not several different the whole thing described God functioning in three personalities right from the very beginning of the book saying that God is Elohim God is the father God is the word before Jesus even manifested God is his word because he uses word to direct and then you have the Holy Spirit who goes to work the Spirit of Can God you explain taking place in that this verse book. about God being the word what well, do you remember the, the verse well you are speaking to me so if you talk to me, you tell me, say, hey, I give you my word, for instance. So you are giving me your word. You will not say, I'm giving you the, the words that are coming from my mouth. So can the word exist without the Father? No. So it's not a, 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 it's not a divine entity in itself. It's dependent on the Father. Yes, but that's what the Bible communicates. So, so, so how can... So let, me, let, me, let, me, let me proceed okay. with that. The word. I'm not going to get into the Trinity talk. So let's just focus on this one. Because <laughs> okay, I'm not, uh, let me. I'm not I'll, 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 I'll just, I'll just address that when quickly. I, when I talk, the reason why I say that because the very concept that Jesus is the Son of God, Islam don't understand it. Islam thing when when the Bible says Jesus is the Son of God, yes. it means that God has given birth to a human a, a human flesh. But the Bible, the very term Son of God means, which the Bible described in the Book of John, the word became flesh. So in it's the beginning from God giving birth to a flesh. The verse you're talking to in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. The word was God. Okay. In the beginning was the word. Okay. All that much. And the word was with God. So we've already got two gods here. Okay. So God being one. And and his word. And the word was God. Yes, absolutely. So the word is God and then we have a God here as well. But you, you are explaining it in and a way that is wrong. The fact that you don't how do understand you it, it doesn't mean that it's wrong. And the word can it exist without the Father. Those who read the whole text of the of the Trinity, they accept that because they see it at play. Right. If God is Almighty, right? We are the created beings. We don't decide who He is. He tells us. I agree who he with is. you. Okay. So we believe He is one. If He has shown us that, because even in, even eternity itself. I believe he is this outside of eternity. That's how big he is, right? So, if even eternity itself cannot contain him, right? How much more the physical realm containing him? So there has exactly. to be a way that he can. That there has to be a way in which he can get his uh, go to different dimension in order to relate with mankind and his other creatures. So if he chooses right. to demonstrate himself in three, right, as being three persons, right, right. Functioning at the, as a father, as a son, 
Oh, as the word. I say the word first because when I say son to Islam, they think, oh, it's a man. Functioning as the because Father, many as the Word, many and other as sons the Holy as well Spirit. In the Bible, yeah. So there's the, the Word, the Father, and the Holy Spirit. No, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And those three are? God is one. The, all, the, all these three are one? Yeah, God is one, yeah. And yes. See, are, are, the, are, are they... Are, you are a creature, created being. You can't It's a very telling... confusing to, uh, uh, concept. Okay, that's up to you, right? No, no, I mean, for you, how do you understand it? Because you clearly understand it, I don't. Okay, so God tell us, like these days, right? We uh -huh. live in a world right. where now, they tell us now there is more than 100 genders. Have you heard that theory? Okay, yeah. how do you explain that to these people? Because the same thing they are telling us is what you are telling us now. God has told us that, well, it's the same argument. Okay. That's, see, okay. these people, these people now, they are using, these, uh, according to them, these people, I have nothing against them, but what they are using are things that they are taking from religion. And they are so master it now yeah, yeah, yeah. to sell the ideas to the world. Right. We have many young people that Sorry. are buying it because it is religion that will say such a thing that if God tells a man you only have two gender, that's it. You have no idea to Sorry, think we're going else. off topic here. Why it's how the same thing. how does the Trinity make sense? It doesn't have to make sense to you. How how does two gender make how sense? How can I how can I not worship how can I worship God if I don't understand how him? How does two gender make sense to a man who believe that there's more than ten gender? It won't make sense to him because he's choosing not to accept this fact. Listen, that's Islam not, choose that's not, to not the means of my salvation. Okay. But that's the same thing. How can I worship a God I don't understand? Well, do you do you do you understand the fact that there is no salvation in the Quran? Do you understand that? It's not the answer. No, no. I'm asking the question: How can I worship a God who I don't even know who He is? I worship a God who I understand. Okay, how do you understand God being three and one at the same time? Because He functions as Father, as the Word, and as the Holy Spirit. He functions as the them. Father does not leave His throne, so according the, to the Bible. The Son is not the Father, and the Father is not the Son. They're distinct people. They are distinct, but still as one like right. you here you have a physical body yep you have your soul yep and you also have your word proceeding from your mouth now yeah but i'm one person I, i'm one person you're one person exactly he's right? three he's three persons yes but that's how he chose that's how he is that's how god is that's how god is he created us we so, are he's, not the creator. so he's three persons in one okay why can't it be four persons because he's or five, three or, or ten persons see that's that's the, that's the folly idea i'm talking about here yeah, so exactly this is, can, this is, when you open that door see that's what I'm saying. When it comes to the Trinity, Islam should accept that they don't believe. So they are unbelievers when it comes to the no, Trinity. We, shall I tell you why? Mm -hmm. We don't believe it. You don't have because to believe it, it but sense. it's God. It doesn't make sense. It also doesn't make sense that God chose to create you as three in one. God gave, I'm one person with one body and one soul. Oh, yeah. you're, you're still three in one. When a person leaves this one world... Person, I'm, 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 I'm one person. I'm one person. One person okay. with one body, okay. with one soul, okay. with one consciousness, okay. and one entity. Okay. So your concept your of God your is body, wait, wait a minute. Your body is separate from your soul. Of course. Okay. And every, but when you function in now, I mean the two. I mean the, it's within it, but it's but two. He cannot. He cannot. But I'm one. But I'm one person. Okay. But you. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Do you know that you're God? Saying, but you're saying that God. God wait. functions with God the Father in heaven. God the Son down on earth, and no, then the, the Holy the Son, Spirit is wherever no, no, he is. The Son is not on the throne. The Word. No, no, he was but, always. He was always the Word before he became flesh. He was always the Word. You know what? Shall I tell you? This this concept of the Trinity. No, the early Christians never believed in this. No, no, that's okay, a they, lie. They, they called them himself. They were called Unitarian. They were called Unitarian Jesus Christians. Jesus said in the book to the Jews. Jesus, 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 Jesus never preached the Trinity. Do you know why? The, do you know why? The and they were called Unitarian Christians. If you look no, into that. No, no, no. That's okay. that's long time, sir. Abraham called to one God. Okay. Abraham never said worship the Son. Worship the Holy Spirit. There's only one reason why the Jews wanted to kill Jesus. Because they said, you being a man, make yourself equal with God. And what did he respond with? He said, before Abraham was. What did he respond have, with? What did no, he re wait. Read the rest of the, rest of the verse. What, what did he say after that? He said to the Jews, he said to them, are That's you? What I'm saying. Don't pick and choose. No, no, this is the same, same chapter. Verse, you're, you're you jump to another verse. Listen, I'm he not jumping. About the same okay. verse. Same verse. They, they acknowledge came to, the one I'm talking okay. about now. Yes. Right? So Jews came to Jesus. Okay. Have, can you pull up the verse? Before the Abraham Jews, was. No, 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 no. Okay. Jews, the Jews came to Jesus. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. The Jews came to Jesus. Because you can accept this. And they accused him of of blasphemy, of saying that okay. he is he is uh, uh, he is divine or he's the son of God. Mm -hmm. Now, of all of the opportunities that he had in his life to acknowledge that he is God himself. Mm -hmm. This was the best opportunity for him to say, yes, I am okay, the son so, of God, or I am God. Okay. What did he reply with? 
he said to the Jews, does it not say in your book that ye are gods, or that you yourselves are gods, i.e. this is a figure of speech. So he didn't say to okay. them, oh yes, I like I, that. Oh, this is uh, I am God. Yes, thank you. You, you know, you, you, what you've accused me of. This is what I'm what, what I'm preaching. But rather, he said to them, "But does it not say in your book mm -hmm. that you are gods?" Yeah. Are you showing them that this is your language? Yeah. This is a, this is a, this is the language that yeah, they so, had. So then it's not a literal sense okay. that he is a god. Yeah. He should have said so to them, "How about ye are gods?" How let, do you... let me let me let me continue. If he was God, he should have said to them, "Yes." This is what I'm claiming. Okay. This is my. This is his opportunity to do to actually acknowledge that yeah. the, the claim he's making that he is God on earth. Mm -hmm. But rather, he said to, he, he came back to them that don't you call yourselves gods? Mm -hmm. I in, in the in the rhetorical sense that this is your language, you, mm -hmm. the Hebrew that you speak, the Old Testament. Okay. You call yourselves gods. So why are you why are you why are you punishing me for for saying I'm the son of God? Okay. So in in in, an, in other words, and there's many other sons in the Bible. So in other words. Do you think he disagreed with the fact that they called themselves gods? Sorry? Do you think he disagreed with the idea that they called themselves gods according to their own No, he was, he's showing them that in your language, you don't mean literally you're a god. Okay. He means if you call someone a, a god, it's like, like um, I'm trying to think in English, where you know, there's these figures of speech that you do not mean it in the literal sense, but okay. it's, it's a, um, what's the word for it, bro? Yeah. Huh? Figure, figure of speech, but there's a, there's a certain, there's a certain so, term for these, for these sort of phrases. A Jew, a, a Jew would quite, never yeah. consider anyone calling themselves God. We know that for sure. Of course. That Jesus was, Jesus was telling them, hey, listen, your own book call you God. But you can see from his response. You can see from his response to them that he said, you call yourselves okay. God. So why are you holding me? Okay, why, why are you punishing me? Let, the no only reason I stopped, I have a problem with Islam saying the, the Bible is falsified. Right? Meanwhile, Islam does not have the original text. Uh, yes, we do. You have the original Bible text? Not the but, original not, Bible. Not the Bible, of course the not. Bible no one has that. It was in Ar the original Bible was in Aramaic. No one has that. So it, it was, it was one gospel. Listen, the gospel I cannot of Jesus. tell my teacher the textbook is wrong when I don't have the original. The, the, I don't the need original the original to show you it's wrong. One gospel Shall of I tell Jesus? you why? No, I can open the one you have now and show you mistakes. That's what I'm saying. This is the problem with Islam. I, and you all think that not, Islam is a faster growing religion? It is. But, but let this, me show you. No, no, no. Trust me. This is the fault now with Islam. Because what's happening now in the, in the Islamic world Listen, is you the very the Imams that study that are coming across this truth and revealing it to people on YouTube. It's the Imams that are telling people that Islam has a problem. Do you it's have, not the common man anymore. Do you have... Because do you, do you have the Bible, the original Bible, in the New yes, Testament? Yes, we believe. The New, the New Testament. Obviously, the New Testament. Yes, we do. What language is it in? The New Bible. The, the, the New Come Testament. on, you have the, you have the original Bible, but what language is it in? See, that's that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. If you if you start with language, then first of all, I can't go in that discussion with you because I already know the thought behind it. If you ask me, I said Arabic. Simple as that. Yes, because well, you have the original Bible of the New Testament. First of all, Islam believes. What language is it in? Islam believes that Arabic. It's God language for all mankind, which is clearly I'm not talking alive. about Islam. No, no. I'm talking about your Bible here. No, no, no. Let's, I have to. Why are you deflecting? I have to deflect. You, you have are to because look, look, I, have to, I, have to I asked you. You Why? said I said. Do you have the New Testament original Bible? You said, of course we do. Yes, because then I asked you what language is no, it. No, because your whole idea is that the fact that somebody translated book means it's wrong. It's no, not the original I, text I, anymore. Listen, no, this no, no, is not no, no, what no, I'm no. saying. Guys, I'm you, telling you, always say, this is not what I'm it's saying. It's the same argument. I'm, I'm not the only reason why you are, is... All I'm saying is, <laughs> okay. listen, all I'm saying is, okay. there's no need to get emotional. Okay. Okay. I'm just a simple question. Okay. You say you have the original original Bible, which I disagree with. Okay. You, there's nothing dating to the lifetime of Jesus Christ. Okay, so him. that's what I'm saying now. And the one you do have, yeah. the earliest manuscript you have of, of the New Testament mm -hmm. is about the size of a credit card. Okay. Which is a lie. Going, okay. Which is what Jesus spoke. Mm -hmm. It's in, it's in well, Kona, agree. You know, brother, it's just a little bit. Your friend took Shahada, you? Allahu Akbar, MashaAllah, MashaAllah, MashaAllah. You know, I've been waiting a whole week for you. Mashallah. And here I am. I promise I will be here Saturday if I work or if I don't. He said, he just said, he, said, he, just said he, he just said Islam is not the fastest growing religion. I told him it is. It is. You have witnessed it. No, no, no. That's, that's the whole thing. He was a Christian last week. He's going he's gonna to be, he's going to be dominating the world. He's going to be dominating the world. Listen.
His brother knows a lot, but we talk him so many things. I'd like to see this. The, the way he lived his life is how Muslims live our lives. No, that's, that's not true. He didn't eat pork. That's not how true. Do you eat pork? How did he pray? He put his head down on the ground, we pray like him. We put he, our he, head down on the ground. Oh, I put my head never. down on the ground. No. Well, how can you know what I do in my room? I put my head under the ground. Mashallah, mashallah. Abraham himself worshipped God with yes, his head on the ground. All did that. All the prophets did that. That's what I mean. So that so Christians why do Christians do it. Not do the fact that, that we don't come on the street and do it doesn't mean that we no, don't do it. on the street. Right? Okay. But in good, church, good, good. I, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased you do. And do so, you? Call, the, the thing is, look, the, the concepts are what I have a problem with in Christianity. Mm -hmm. That God sacrificed Himself okay. to Himself yeah. for a rule which He made Himself. I.e., the and that doesn't make sense to me. Okay, so that's fine, but it's just, not fine. No, no, that's fine because it's what you refuse to believe. Sorry, my only problem. I told you, I'm telling you why I did not convert. Okay, the reason why majority of people convert to Islam because they haven't studied properly. He's you don't, even get, you don't even get the chance because they tell you first have to understand. The deeper you go, they tell you no, no. You have to know the Arabic text first. So I have to go and learn Arabic for the next six years before I can properly learn. That's what I'm saying, sir. I've been there though. Listen, I give two years of my life to this thing. You think I'm? You don't I'm, need I'm to learn story. Arabic to understand who Allah is. Okay. So the same thing when it comes to you the, spent two years studying Islam. Yes. Okay. So what did what? What did you actually did you become Muslim at that stage, or were you just researching it? I wasn't researching, right? Because I, I already been through the Christian study. I studied with Jehovah Witnesses at the time for one year. So, yeah. I decided, you know, I don't want to be part of it. All my close friends from the age of 14 to the age of 24, Islam. I grew up in Holland, from Morocco, uh, Turkey, African countries, Guinea. You know, the Muslim parts of Africa. Also, so I associate with them. I see the life they live, I see what they teach. Good people. One thing I will always say that Islam has good morals, right? But Islam don't That's have... many other faiths, no doubt, yeah. Well... well Christianity has good morals within it as well, well to be honest. I mean, I'm, 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 well, well, I'm, I'm, I'm saying something positive for you and no, you're, no, you are still arguing with me. No, I'm being neutral, I'm being neutral, right? Okay, go ahead. Because if, no, I, thank you for being positive. Yeah, but, I mean, it's the truth, I'm, it's the truth. I'm, Giving I'm, charity, taking care of the poor, yeah, the... Uh, good morals, these. right? Of course, okay, it's a so, good thing. But what I mean is, I realized that after a while, what I was searching for as a person, what I was searching for was not... Yeah, that thing was on him. It's, it's back. You should take, take, your, take your book back. <laughs> so, I was not searching for religion. It doesn't matter to me which religion is right. What I was searching for is, if I leave this world, how can I know for sure? If you ask me now, give me five pounds, and I'll make it 50 pounds tomorrow. I'd rather take my five pounds, go to Tesco, buy something, eat it, and let go of the 50 pounds. If I have no guarantee, it's just based on a gamble. So I realized in my study that, or at the end of the day, no matter how studious a person is in Islam or whatnot, everybody will come to the question mark that they are not sure of their salvation. They can have gone through all the works, the confession of the faith, the, the, the pillars of the faith, you know, all the things that need to be in place. At the end of the day, they will still rely on the mercy of God. So eventually, everyone in Islam will have to depend on the mercy of God after they have gone through everything. When all is said and done, when we just real look ourselves in the mirror and just honest, we still have to wait for the mercy of God for the final conclusion of our salvation, right? When it comes to Christianity, the first time I came across that, I said two things, right? I said, either Jesus, either number one, the Bible is indeed falsified, or two, Jesus is a madman, according to the current text, right? Wait, I'm talking about the story of salvation. Mm -hmm. When I came, when I found salvation in the Bible, I said three things, right? Number one, either it's indeed a falsified text, number two, Jesus is a madman, I'm just being honest, or number three, it is the truth. Because that's the only place where I see of whether Hindu or all these Baha, Rastafaris, that's the only place if somebody genuinely read it, non-biased, they will find out that salvation is guaranteed. Not based on works, even though it, has, it comes with works, you cannot take away the works because you are foolish. I mean, you can't say you are apple tree and you are bearing pears. So, it comes with work, but 
eventually you don't obtain it by works. It is his true mercy of God. Now, when I look on the side of Islam, right? Islam is the flip side. Islam is you have to do righteousness to become righteous. The Bible says God gave you the mercy to become righteous and now he expects you because you have become righteous to live righteous. It's a difference. So that's why I claim that this one make more guarantee. I know my treasures is secure. It's if, if, if it goes wrong, it's in my hand because he has made me righteous. If it goes wrong, it's because I chose not to manifest righteousness. On this other side of the spectrum is that I already know I will slip up, <laughs> you know? So even though I have to do good works in order to, for him to consider me, but in his consideration of me is because I've subscribed to his faith, right? But even though I subscribe to his faith, it does not guarantee my salvation. I, was, I can still slip up based on my work. And I would not even have anyone to blame. I mean, from the very get-go, I know that I'm in trouble. I have to be very mindful. You see my point? But on the now, Christian side of things, I can know for sure. God has secured me once I just follow flow. Let, so, again. Yeah, so, carry on, carry on. Okay. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to address this very important fact which I hear a lot of Christians say, and I'm sorry to say they're very mistaken in this, in this understanding. Your opinion, right? I'm, I'm telling you what your, Islam no, teaches. Your opinion, right? Uh, no problem. You can take it as my opinion, but this is what Islam teaches. Every single Muslim will enter paradise. Okay. Every single Muslim mm -hmm. will enter paradise. Okay. Without doubt. Okay. Now, will, like you said. Our works are a manifestation of our of our belief. Yeah. If you believe well, in, I, okay, they're a manifest. I mean, you have, if, if you have a belief in your heart, yeah. that should manifest on your limbs. Yeah, sorry, bro, you okay, that, okay, that's fine. So, our, no doubt, we need we require actions to to show that that belief which we have in our hearts. Absolutely. Now, it's our actions are not sufficient without the mercy of God. Like you said, in terms of your belief in what Christianity to, it's the, through the mercy of God that will overlook our shortcomings within our actions mm -hmm. and enter us into paradise but every single muslim mm -hmm. is guaranteed to enter into paradise and this is a fact okay. which is told which we are told in the quran that okay. every single muslim will go to paradise okay. so this belief that we are not guaranteed paradise is false okay. so i will come back in my in my study i say if the god of the quran right will allow every muslim into paradise then he is not a righteous judge because God is also a judge. Being a father, he's also a judge. He has the role of a judge to play. So it's like, I mean, you have children, I believe. You have children, okay. So you know you are dad, you have many things to your child. Yeah? Sometimes you're just a disciplinary and the mercy part of you will want to come, but you know you have to discipline for the guy good. So I believe that if if the God of the Quran allow every Muslim into paradise, he is not a righteous uh, a judge. Because that means let me, let me qualify that statement. He, sh he should have done that with Adam and Eve, no. according to. So every single Muslim will enter into paradise. Every single person, are we? Will we be held accountable for our actions? Mm -hmm. Of course. The day of judgment is called the day of judgment for a reason. Mm -hmm. We are held accountable for our actions, mm -hmm. and through the mercy of God, we enter into paradise. If there is a Muslim mm -hmm. who believes in La Ilaha Illallah, that there is no one worthy of worship except Allah. Mm -hmm. That this person, if he has done something which he hasn't repented for, which he hasn't rectified, it's on his scale of, 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 of bad deeds, and he needs to be purified of that sin, of that crime, then this, uh, this Muslim may enter into the hellfire for some portion of time to be purified of that sin which he hasn't repented for. Okay. This is the justice. Okay. And then he will enter into paradise. Okay. So some, some will enter into paradise directly. Okay. And some, some because God, go because God is just. Okay. Because God is just. Okay. If you have done something and you, and you haven't repented, mm -hmm. then you serve time for that. Okay. And then you enter paradise. But will every Muslim go to paradise? Mm -hmm. Absolutely.